Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Publisher provides you with a quick and easy way to create a product catalog by using the Catalog Pages feature. This feature will allow you to create a product catalog that contains information such as product name, description, price, and picture. Once you have that information, you can easily merge it into the Catalog Pages in Publisher to create a custom product catalog. To insert catalog pages into your publication, select the page within the navigation pane that is immediately before the place you wish to insert catalog pages. Then click the Catalog Pages button in the Pages button group on the Insert tab. Publisher will then insert the catalog merge pages into your publication. The catalog pages appear as a single selectable object in the navigation pane. When they are selected, you will see the catalog merge area appear within your publication page. This is the area into which you will place your merge fields for your product data source. This area will also be repeated for each record in your product data source. Objects placed outside of this area, such as page numbers, will not. You should also see the Format tab of the Catalog Tools Contextual tab appear within the ribbon. You can select this tab to access the groups of buttons that will allow you to complete the product catalog creation. To associate the data source with the catalog pages, click the Add List button in the Start button group. If you want to create a new product list, click the Type a New List command to open up the New Product List dialog box. Here you can enter a product name, description, ID, price, and picture. This dialog box functions in the exact same way that the new address list dialog box does. When you have finished entering your records, you can click the OK button to save the file and then open up the catalog merge product list dialog box. If you want to select an existing product data source, then select the Use Existing List command. Publisher will then open up the Select Data Source window, which you can use to choose the existing product data source, and then click the Open button. Less commonly used is the Select from Outlook Contacts command. This would be useful if you had contact information stored in an Outlook's contact folder that you wanted to merge into something like an employee handbook or departmental reference guide. If you wish to do this, then select the Outlook contact folder you wish to set as the data source. Once you have the associated data source with the catalog pages, you can click the Edit List button in the Start button group on the Format tab in order to open up the Catalog Merge Product List dialog box. You can use this dialog box in the same way that you use the Mail Merge Recipients dialog box. Once you have selected the desired records to use for the catalog merge in this box, click the OK button. You can choose what type of product layout you want to use for your catalog page by selecting a desired layout from the list shown in the Layout button group. Depending upon the type of layout you select, you will also see on-screen instruction about where it would be best to place the data within the sections of the catalog page. To create your own custom layout of columns and rows of information, you can click the Rows and Columns button, and then click into the grid to choose the number of columns and rows from the grid provided. You can select the desired fill order for the columns and rows by selecting your preferred choice from the Fill Order drop-down. You can either select across then down, or down then across from the drop-down menu that appears. You can also decide how the information in the repeating areas within the catalog will be represented by selecting a choice from the repeating areas drop-down. You could have each area have its own repeating layout, or you could have the columns repeat down the page, or you can have the rows repeat across the page. 
In the Insert Button group, you will find the buttons that you can use to actually insert the data into the repeating sections within the page. To do this, first place your insertion marker at the place in the catalog where you would like to insert a merge field, or select the text in the repeatable area that you want to replace with a merge field. Then click the Text Field button to insert a merge field into the selected location. Repeat this, as needed, to fill in the repeatable areas within the product information. If the catalog layout you've selected contains a picture placeholder for a picture data field, you can click the placeholder to open up the Insert Picture Field dialog box. You can use this dialog box to select the field within your data source that contains the image of the product and then click the OK button to finish. You can also manually insert a picture field by clicking the Picture Field button and then selecting the name of the picture field in your data source that you wish to insert. Note that the reference made in the Picture Data Source field is simply the name of the image field, including the file extension. If you click the Picture Field button and then choose the More Picture Options command from the drop-down that appears, you can up the Insert Picture Field dialog box. At the bottom of this dialog box, click the Specifies Folder button to expand the dialog box to show the list of folders within which publisher should look for pictures with the names that you specify. You can add the folder that contains your product pictures to the existing list by clicking the Add button. This will open up the Browse window where you can select the folder that contains the product pictures. Alternately, you can simply move the pictures into one of the folders already specified within this dialog box. When finished, click the OK button to close the Insert Picture Field dialog box. You use the buttons in the Preview Page button group to preview the data that you have in your catalog before merging. Click the Preview Results button to see the data appear on screen within the publication page. You can then use the adjacent arrow buttons to scroll through the data shown on screen. When you are satisfied with the preview, you can then merge the data by clicking one of the buttons in the Merge button group. You can click the Merge to New button to merge the results to a new catalog publication that you can then edit and print as needed. You can click the Add to Existing button to add the output to an existing catalog publication, which you can select in the Open Publication window that appears. You can send the output to the Printer Options area in the Backstage view by clicking the Print button. Select your Print Options and then click the Print button. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www dot teachucomp.com forward slash free.